Welcome to Module 4 of Using Educational Technology in the English Language Classroom. It's another exciting module, and this one is all about reading skills. You will discover how technology is used to help English language learners improve their reading skills. To get us started, Carol will begin the lecture by highlighting the connection between technology and reading in the world today. She will then invite our reading expert, Professor Gulbaha Beckett, to talk about her perspective on why reading is so important. She will also present useful advice for teachers. Next, Altai Osgo will discuss technology tools that support reading, and Agata Guskoroska will offer tips specifically for teaching reading to young learners. I bet you can't wait to get into this module. Now, and this is just as important, please don't forget to visit the Reading Resource Corner for readings, additional technology tools, open educational resources for teaching reading, and demonstrations of how teachers use some of these tools. All these materials will help you create engaging reading activities for your learners. Enjoy. We'll start by looking at the connection between technology and text. We'll meet our reading expert, Professor Gubahar Beckett. We'll ask Professor Beckett to talk about why reading is important for students, and then what teachers should know about reading. We'll then ask her for some advice for teachers, and finally, look at how technology can help. Let's begin by looking at the connection between technology and text today. Technology provides access to materials of every topic for students to read on the internet. Teachers and students can find interesting texts on any topic they can imagine. For example, the International Wikipedia hosts over 6 million articles in English that users can find by searching on the Wikipedia website. Wikipedia will get you started if you want to learn more about, for example, the Harry Potter books, musical groups like BTS, science topics like the James Webb Space Telescope, or important inventions from the past like the history of the computer. If students want to read the latest news from around the world, they can check Voice of America, a website published by the U.S. government agency that oversees all non-military U.S. international broadcasting. Voice of America was established in 1942 to broadcast news that the world could trust. For English learners interested in the world, it provides a constant source of current material to read. If students want to read fiction, they will be very interested in the collection of books available online at the Project Gutenberg website, where they will find a library of over 60,000 free eBooks. Wikipedia, Voice of America, and Project Gutenberg are three examples representing the endless material available to readers on the internet. There is something for everyone to read, regardless of their interests and knowledge. But of course, these texts were not prepared especially for learners. Our students need to develop their reading skills so that they can benefit from the texts available to them on the internet. Let's meet our reading expert to get some insight into how teachers can help their students learn how to read. Professor Beckett researches literacy, which means the ability to read and write. In the next video, we'll start by asking how she got interested in reading and why she thinks it's so important.